welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study shell molding, which is one of the other expandable mold casting processes. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Except sand casting, there are other casting processes that have been developed to meet special needs. The difference between these methods are in the composition of the mold material, or the manner in which the mold is made, or in the way the pattern is made. Shell molding is a casting process in which the mold is a thin shell made of sand held together by thermosetting resin binder was developed in Germany in the early 1940s. We are going to observe the steps of shell molding in the next few figures. The figure, 1, shows the first step in shell molding, where a match plate or copen drag metal pattern is heated, and placed over a box, containing sand mixed with thermosetting resin. The figure, 2, shows the second step in shell molding, where the box is inverted so that sand and resin fall onto the hot pattern causing a layer of the mixture to partially cure on the surface to form a hard shell. The figure, 3, shows the third step in shell molding, where the box is repositioned so that loose, uncured particles drop away. The figure, 4, shows the fourth step in shell molding, where the sand shell is heated in oven for several minutes, to complete curing. The figure, 5, shows the fifth step in shell molding, where the shell mold is stripped from the pattern. The figure, 6, shows the sixth step in shell molding, where the two halves of the shell mold are assembled, supported by sand or metal, shot in a box, and pouring is accomplished. The figure, 7, shows the seventh step in shell molding, where we can see the finished casting, with sprue removed. There are many advantages of shell molding. The surface of the shell mold cavity is smoother than in a conventional green sand mold. This smoothness permits easier flow of molten metal during pouring and better surface finish on casting. Good dimensional accuracy, due to good finish and accuracy, the need for machining is minimized. Sufficient mold collapsibility to avoid tearing and cracking of casting. Can be mechanized for mass production. Very economical for large quantities. There are also some disadvantages of shell molding. More expensive metal pattern than the corresponding pattern for green sand molding. This makes the shell molding difficult to justify for small quantities. Examples of parts made using shell molding are gears and camshafts. So, we have studied shell molding, which is one of the expandable mold casting processes, other than sand casting. Thank you.